Jimmy. I found out, you know. Did you? Like, yeah. Find yeah, out how? Of the year. No, I didn't find out. I heard about it. I can't remember who from. Where? No. So, guys, um, I kind of want to do the Bruno Bunker. Why? Uh, what? Bruno Bunker? Yeah, Bruno has a nuclear bunker. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Who told you this? Uh, I heard it from a friend. Yeah, but what's fascinating about a nuclear bunker? It's a bunker. And no one knows it's heritage. It's got information about it. Yeah, but like my idea about going on the scene in JD, that's more risky, that's more thrilling. What's thrilling about a nuclear bunker? I mean, there's no wars. There's no bombs dropping on us now. No one cares. Rian, what are you on about? You, you said you don't want to get sacked. That's true. Well, what I don't want to do with a nuclear bunker where it has no affection to my but life. But you guys, yeah. don't you know that like, science, you know, technology, you know, history. Do you know what, yeah? Why don't, I'm, I'm going to look at, I'm going to look right, up Google. now. I'll yeah, look Google, up now. Google, 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 Google. Google Bruno nuclear bunker. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can find anything. I'm pretty sure there will be at least one thing. I, I, think, there'll, I think there'll be quite something on there. Yeah. It's Google. It's been mentioned in the Bruno campus newspaper. Leneuve? Yeah. That's I'm going to see what it says. If it's boring, I personally don't think we should do it. I just think a nuclear bunker, it just, it, to me, it sounds boring. Like, what are we going to get out of it? Oh, this is a bunker that we won't probably use because there's no war. Yeah. Oh, so there is, is there anything else? There is definitely one. So there, was, there is one. On Google, is there any, anything else? It's like memories, memoirs of people who used to work at Brunel. All right, cool. So we're going to fab... Um, is he still here? Or what bunker? No, let's find out who it is. What right. is this about? Ian Stewart, who is a member of staff, has written a bit about bunker. Oh, let me go back. Here. Okay, I'm reading it out. My office lit out onto a nuclear bunker. It was disgu disguised as a flat top pyramid overgrown with weeds and nettles and the height of two storeys of the Houseby building, which overlooked it on three sides. In all the years that I spent at Brunel, I reckon I only ever saw a handful of people enter, white coat technicians pushing rattling trolleys of vials and chemicals. Wow, this shit gets real. Let's find out a bit more information about. Should we the try and get in contact with some people? Yeah, let's try. And get yeah, try, try, try. Yeah, try and contact, contact this guy. Him. We're on our way to a local pub uh, called the Loader Hay, and uh, we've got a contact down there. He's agreed to have an interview, but he doesn't want his face to be shown. Uh, but he has some information about the Bruno Bunker. The thing that you should know about the bunker is that rather than keeping radiation out, its new problem is that it actually holds a lot of radiation in. I found out via a friend of mine who tried to make a uh, video about it a while ago that what happened was they put a lot of, shall we say, dangerous material down there, something with a half-life, uh, in sealed containers, considering that it was the most safe place to contain them. Unfortunately, these containers during a routine check were found to have leaked. Mm. The way they work with it is that it's not hidden information because hidden information is valuable. It's out there, but they always imply that there's nothing to see. If you say, oh yeah, there's this thing we can't talk about. See, suddenly there's a story, suddenly people want to know. So it was actually quite a nice little thing that security have done by just making the information so public that it's actually not in any way, uh, there's no allure to that information.
We got this map off Le, Le Nerve. Was it Le Nerve? Yeah, the Bruno newspaper. And uh, on here, it's got the nuclear bunker right there. There you go. Um, so we're at the A building right now. And we're going to follow this map. And we're going to try and find it. Yeah. Hey, hold up. Yeah. You've got red. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> next, um, next place we're going to is Saltash. Saltash. Hey, do you know what? <laughs> Imagine if there's zombies in there. Brrrr. 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 I'll be honest, I've never been in here either. Me neither. First time for everything. Oh, yeah. This is it. There's a door here. Is that a door? Shit. There's a door and everything, look. Camera, alarm, and a keypad. Entry. Key in. Yeah, there's no way we can get in there. Should we have a walk around the area? Let's have a look. Yeah. Watch me fly. Okay, which way did you take up? I just went around the side, then kind of went in the middle. Whew. Around this area is quite really quite flat. So what, what's your course anyway? Film and TV. Like, and what, what was your documentary. What's, documentary? What's your reason for the documentary? We're just like uh, looking at a, a paper on the nub, and we're just looking around the hall, like exploring areas of Brunel. Which so you're, got you're pinpointing those Lemur parts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, the one of them, as you can tell, is the bunker. Yeah, okay. yeah, you, yeah, 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 that's was, the one. Because you're on top of it. Uh, well, I was. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Okay. And, and that area is like, you can, you can, you can understand it. It's a bit. Okay, what we're going to do, yeah. you don't, you're not, don't seem quite, um, you're not causing any trouble in that sense. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take down your details, yeah. right? Yeah. You can I'm going to take down your, have you got your student cards on you? Yeah, well, yeah. I have mine on me. Um, and what I'm going to do, because it's reported that you're, oh, like yourself, he's on top okay. of the bunker, um, blah, blah, blah. Is it like off limits, I think? It's, it's not on, it, it's not off limits if you want to go chill around there and yeah. do whatever. Just like it's to record it's oh, just recording and stuff. Oh, just recording okay. and stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's it's a photo side. Because um, I don't, you might not be aware, but the whole of like England itself is on high alert, isn't it? Anyway. So after the security fiasco, uh, we're calling this off. It's probably best not to continue any further. So as for getting caught, kicked out of uni. I'm still scared, you know. <laughs> I'm so scared. Watching on my shoulders in case anyone will come. So basically, what have we learnt? Shit all. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what what is the bunker probably used for? Um, I reckon it's just derelict. Like it's, it's just, just an abandoned building. It's just an abandoned building, but that doesn't kind of doesn't explain. It doesn't explain why security would have such a yeah a mm. big kind of Fist hoo about, about it. Yeah. yeah, high alert as well. High alert. Since, since when was England on high alert? Yeah, Isn't I think it very often? I like the whole world, kind of. No, I think nah. from the beginning of this, when you just think it, when you hear about the bunker, you you automatically think safely. And you, that doesn't really safety, I should say. And that yeah. doesn't really associate with anything really fascinating. But since doing the research and everything that's happened to us, I have that like constant fear 
that something's right. always going to happen now and the fact that we have a bunker on campus <clears throat> that's supposed to be a bunker is made for safety and that we can't even use it but I don't see why Ian Stewart didn't want to get back to us yeah uh, I mean a bit of information if he's been watching out of his window all the time and seeing people go in and not coming out um, a bit more information would have been great but I guess and from the Brunel <coughs> newspaper as well they didn't get back to us either yeah, no we tried so us, many no. times no. so I guess them not getting back to us is a another vacation. subject matter that you know we shouldn't pursue it further so well bottom line is closed. we didn't really find out a lot about it so no. I mean there's other stuff that we did find about, out about I mean uh, the yeah. documentaries that we watched the yeah. research that it we was, did it was probably built around when the university was yeah, built around which was around the 60s around 60s and the interview and we had with um, that lecturer the lecturer from the and CIA uh, he said well, was the infrastructure region, reasons he kind of makes sense he, he yeah. says it was infrastructure and the other guy mentioned it was, it was for the storage storage yeah Fair I mean enough. it it could have just been built because of uh, as a free. precaution for for the yeah. Cold War. Yeah. I mean, uh, also, around London, London's like a big place. Uh, anyone could hide in, in the event of a nuclear disaster. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but why haven't they destroyed it then? Well, I guess uh, there's no need to destroy it's it. Or cost, there's no it's cost yeah, it's costly, it's also yeah. like It takes cost to like get rid of it all. Like but just like just let it hide out. Yeah, just let. It. But also, don't you think that from what I've read from my research that countries are still making weapons of mass destruction yeah. and it's still ongoing that's the, why, the reason why well, it's I mean, there um, a lot of the response to the um, fr well from that from that um, documentary what was it uh, Wind Windscale Windscale, Windscale, yeah, Windscale said, said that the, the countries that op owns nuclear weapons are theoretically in charge like they're like exactly. they, it's, it's their sign saying like do not fuck with us practically and now that and then other countries building it say like hey we we can we're just as capable of building fingers with you or do not fuck with us either uh, it, it 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 ties in with um what the lecturer said where everyone's on in a mexican standoff like mm -hmm. uh the, the weapons are too strong nothing can withstand it anything in the blast radius is going to die basically die. so the best like, offense is a good defense. yeah the best offense is well, it's too cost effective to break it down Let's decorate it. Look at how idiot it is. <laughs> <laughs> what I can pull from this project is Brunel have a bunker, but who cares? <laughs> We're not going to find out about yeah. it. Uh, they're not going to disclose any information. But we found out a lot of useful information. I mean, I learned a lot about the Cold War. I learned a lot about history. It's an interesting subject, science and, yeah. and history together working in tandem. Adding on what you just said, I personally after doing what we just did and getting stopped by security is that never go pursue a mission we could say <laughs> for something that is what you mean be a coward <laughs> no don't go to something that is very limited to us so we kind of learnt you know from scurry issues that you know this was a big mistake for us to do this but having said that we did learn new stuff like you just mentioned so it was great even though we didn't get much out of it but it's something rather than nothing for us what did you learn? I've learned that ignorant is bliss. At the beginning, I was <coughs> not content with this project at all. But now that I've looked into it and I've heard so much about the world that we live in, I feel like I was better off not knowing. I was better off mm. not knowing that Bruno had a bunker. Mm. I'm better off not knowing. <laughs> because now that I know, I want to find out more. The fact that they won't tell us, why won't you tell us? Okay, fair enough. I don't want to get expelled or anything for this. But in, in me, I feel very angry that you're not telling me about stuff that's happening on my campus there is something bigger than this because the fact is with watching wind scale like they have like the government's so also happy just to like do a big cover-up for exactly. for a greater picture brunel's obviously going to be covering up some massive secrets i mean like they, they it's like billions are going into you call the university is it billions i'm yeah, assuming, it, I'm, assuming it's, I'm assuming it's millions and millions millions, millions and billions millions. millions are going into the university obviously they're gonna have secrets they're obviously going to have secrets up like the fact that we're too low level the fact is that us getting stopped by security is a warning precaution yeah we don't want to we don't want to be the low level pawns of it yeah so while i have learned a lot about why they could have it while they have a bunker what why what's inside it we'll never we'll never find out